Hello, welcome to this Cognify demo for staff. My name is Heather and I will be taking you through this tutorial. We're going to be going through a full demo of Cognify. We're going to be starting off with the creator and doing a tutorial and then we're going to be going onto the app and I'm going to be going through the features. So the first thing you need to do is go to Cognify.app. This will open up the Cognify website. It will give you instructions on how to download the app and you can read through the information. We're going to start off by creating a document. So click on the create button at the top. When this opens up, you'll see a demonstration document open. At the top, there is a bar which you'll be able to see the features of the app. We're going to start off by creating a new document. We're going to click on new and then we're going to give our file a name and then just click create new. OK, so we want to add some content to our document. So you've got a few different options at the top here. You can see the different types of content that we can add in. So as you can see from the top, we can mark our text as paragraph styles and we can add in heading styles as well. We can add in multiple choice questions, open questions. We can add in YouTube videos, images, web links and text. We can also clear our information and we can load a template as well. You can also use the plus button as I'm going to do here. So if I use the plus button, you can see below the different types of content that we can add which again are the same as the top bar there. So if I wanted to start off by adding some text, I'm going to use a document that I have open. This is one of the Blended Learning Consortium accessibility documents. I'm going to copy the title of this document. And then I'm just going to paste it into the text bar here. So because this is a title, I'm going to mark this as a header one. I have a second header here, which again I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste into here. So you can do this with any kind of document, just copy and paste the information into this document which will create a HTML file, which we're going to use for the app. I'm going to copy this text here. And then I'm going to paste this into the app and this will be my, a paragraph style. OK, so if I wanted some further content in here, I can simply add the content as I'm going through. I'm now going to add an image. So I'm going to click on image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an image. So I'm searching Google Images here, making sure that my images are copyright free or Creative Commons. And then I'm going to find an image and then I'm going to right click on the image and select copy image address. Then I'm going to go into Cognify and select the image tab. I can then paste my link and then add my caption of my picture and this will show up on the Cognify document. I can also click choose file and I can find a file on my computer and I can also upload that to the document. If I wanted to add a link, I can do so by simply clicking link, copying the link, going back to Cognify, selecting link and then pasting it in. So I'm going to add my title of my link and then I'll put my link in the URL section. If I wanted to add a YouTube video, all I need to do is simply copy the link to the YouTube video and then select the YouTube icon. Then all I need to do is 
put in my title and again pop in my URL of my video by simply pasting in. And this YouTube link will embed within the Cognify document and the students will be able to see it and play it within the, within the document. If I wanted to add a question, I can click the open choice question and I can add in a question. Now it's useful to know that this is a standalone document. So this is really for the student's own reflection. It, the only way of them actually getting these answers back to you is if they share the document back to you in the app. You can also put in a multiple choice question as well. So you can actually select multiple choice question and select the correct answer. The great thing about this is when you share this document with the students, when they actually do these questions, the correct answer, uh, the correct answer will show within the app. So to share your document with learners, you've got a number of options. If you click export, if you see export to disk, this means that this will download to your computer, export to OneDrive, it will save to your OneDrive. If you click publish, there are no other options available. If you click share via a public accessible link, if you click non Google Drive, this will mean it will upload the document and it will generate a link for you. You can use this link wherever you need to. You can email your learners, you can put it on Canvas and then they can click on that link. And if they're using their phones, they can copy this link and they can paste it into the Cognify app. You can also download the file to your computer or you can actually share it and export it to OneDrive. This also works with Google Drive um, if for certain colleges that use Google. So there are a number of different options here available for you. If you export the file to OneDrive, this will ask you to sign into your OneDrive. Here I've got a documents folder ready and if you click on save, this will save your document to your OneDrive personal OneDrive and then you can share it with learners or share it with other staff members. To share a document you go into your OneDrive, click share and then this will ask who you want to share it with and you can just simply put the student's name or you can put a staff member's name and this will share the link to the file with the student. And then all you need to do is just click send. And then the student will receive a copy of the file. So now we're going to look at the Cognify app itself. So you can download the Cognify app from the Play Store or the App Store. If you click on Cognify, this is what you will get. We're going to go through each feature individually. However, for now, I'd like to open up the document that I have created. So what you will need to do is you'll notice, need to go to the corner and you'll need to select open file. This will give you the option to create a new document which you can do within the app. You can add a document from a website or you can upload a file. I've added a document to Canvas so I'm going to go into Canvas to try and get my file. I've added a document to a Canvas module and here I am in the Canvas mobile app. As you can see, my document is at the bottom and I, if I click on my document, I can download this to my phone. I also have the document in a Canvas page. So, and I also have a link to the document as well. If I open up the file link, this will actually preview the document within Canvas. It doesn't have the full functionality of the player, but it, you can see the information easily. I can also insert the link into the page and copy the link. So now I'm going to back, back to the Cognify app and here I am in my open file section. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to open it up from the link. So if I click web, I can paste my link I've got and then if I click play this will open up the document and as you can see it's got the full functionality. If I wanted to open a file 
I click file and if I want to open it from my downloads I can open it up from the downloads on my phone and again this will open up the document if I wanted to open it up from my OneDrive if it's been shared with me again I can go into my files and into my phone and if I have my OneDrive synced I can then search through the shared with me options in my OneDrive or search through my files and I'll be able to see the file that's been shared with me and again that will automatically open so within the app there are a number of options available to you if you click the big play button at the bottom this will actually play the document to you psychology approaches in psychology behaviorist approach welcome decorative image for psychology welcome to this session on the behaviorist approach by the end of this session you will be able to describe the behaviorist you can change the voice by clicking on the flag selecting the language and then selecting a different voice describe the behaviorist approach explain pavlov's research into classical conditioning You can also increase the speed or slow it down. You can also add voice notes. All you need to do is click on the microphone and you can add a voice note to the text. This will allow you to make voice notes throughout as you are thinking about things. You can also share your answers to your questions and your voice notes with somebody else such as a teacher or another student. If you click share answers and notes this will allow you to download the document. If you click on it you will see the options that you have on your phone such as emailing etc. You can also install different languages. This is important to notice that this doesn't translate the document for you. Um, it does make sure that if you have got a document in a different language, it reads it out in the correct language. You can also create a document by clicking on create a document. And this will open up the Cognify Creator. You can also open up a website in the Cognify app. Simply find a website, copy the link, and then in Cognify, you, all you need to do is select Open File, select Web, and then paste the name of the website in, in the search bar. Then click Play and this will open up the website in the Cognify player. It's worthwhile having a try with different websites. And as you can see, you can use the full features of the Cognify app, such as adding voice notes, playing the documents back, and all the other features that are available.